protecting older Australians from coronavirus at all costs. People can expect to see a fairly significant restriction on uh, visitation to people in nursing homes. The government still receiving medical advice on how best to care for the nation's most vulnerable before a formal announcement midweek. We need to, to do what we can to limit the opportunity for the infection to come into aged care. Other facilities remaining open for now. Students still attending most schools and universities around the country. But the situation is under constant review by medical experts. Do you see the school closures critical. as inevitable? I, I can't see uh, how it won't happen at some stage, Kieran. So uh, what we need, though, is for those decisions essentially to be recommended. 5,000 people were due to return to Parliament House on Monday for the next sitting week, but that has become the latest coronavirus casualty. The number of political staffers will be limited and some pass holders will have their access temporarily suspended in a bid to keep numbers in the building to a minimum. There won't be a need, I think, for all the parliamentarians to come. Uh, there also won't be a need uh, for all the staff to come as well and the public galleries won't be open and, and school groups won't be visiting. Even pulling the pin on Parliament's night of nights, but the government will need at least 31 MPs and senators to pass its first economic stimulus package. The focus will be on passing the important legislation. The $17.6 billion package will then flow through to small and medium-sized businesses. Eliza Edwards, Sky News Canberra.